Welcome back to the next episode of Pokemon Moon. As promised, it's time to head into here for what I do believe is the Electric Trial. Hey there! And what do we got here? You're still fired up as ever, eh? Royal. Ha! <laughs> Jewel, let me introduce you. This is Malane. I've heard that name before. He runs the observatory here and also manages PC boxes, but he is not Hokulani's captain. But I was the captain once, my masked friend. It's Jewel, right? Thanks for coming all the way up Hokulani to visit us. But our captain, Sophocles, is a busy young man. Always calculating comets' paths or working on that festival paths, a thing of his. So I'll just determine whether you're qualified to take on the trial. I'll gladly show you the skills of a trainer who toughened up while adventuring alongside Kakui back in the day. Alright, let's throw down. I mean, I'm gonna crush you. Challenge for Pokemon Trainer Malane. Rocking three Pokemon. A Skarmory! Okay! That's not great for Duford. One strong flying move could ruin my day. Wish I had Smackdown right now. I could smack down into Bulldoze. That would destroy it. Hey, Doofa, do you outspeed a Skarmory? Of course you don't. It's a Skarmory. Can you tank one super effective flying move? Of course you can. It's uh, Air Cutter Special. Okay, that was maybe a mistake. No, Doofa took it. I mean, this is going to be neutral. I would have liked a Paralysis. Okay, who can deal with this? Probably Midnight. Isn't Steel super effective on? Yes. Okay, let's uh, just go all out here. Hey, what does Zed Stealth Rock do anyway? Uh, defense up as well as laying some rocks. Okay, whatever. Continental Crush! Huh, Midnight outspeeds a Skarmory. That's impressive. I guess I really should have brought uh, Flare with me. I was considering bringing Flare with me, but I didn't, and I'm already being punished for that. Hey, anyway, hopefully that solves my problem. It definitely did not solve my problem. Okay, that's okay. Uh, I'm going to counter you now. Goodbye, Skarmory. Hey, good job, Midnight. That was a bit rough, but you took that pretty well. Alright, a Dug Trio! <laughs> God, this is my first time seeing a Lowland Dug Trio in game, and it's as glorious as I expected it to be. Um, probably Womble. Yeah, the rock Z power is just so brutal. Mud bomb, that hurts, but Womble takes it quite well. Alright, Womble, start Giga Draining. You have a big root for a reason, just take all of its HP. Oof, tanky Dug Trio. Okay, well, if all it has is Mud Bomb, the accuracy downs are problematic, but. Okay, Metal Claw is a little more problematic. Oh, God. Womble is Grass Fairy. Forgot about that typing, didn't I? Hey, Amy! Do you, uh, want to help me deal with this, please? I'm going to sleep it. Well, that's a problem. Alright, I am in a rather awkward position all of a sudden. Let's see... It's either Psychic isn't good against Steel, or Steel isn't good against Psychic. I think it's Steel isn't good against Psychic. I'm gonna let Jasmine take a stab at this. Alright, hey Jasmine. Put up a Reflect, would you? Man, this thing's quick. 
Thanks, Jasmine. All right, start sapping its life. Sapping its life? Just psychic it. Whoever's the third Pokemon of this guy is going to be pretty brutal. Okay, so Psychic isn't very effective on Steel. Oh, come on, Malane. Could you not? I'm trying my best here, and you're just making things awkward for me. Good dodge, Jasmine. Good dodge, Jasmine! Alright, that is the second of three terrifying problems dealt with. Level 28 for Amy, wants to learn Quiver Dance. That is a... Uh, sharply boosts... No, just boosts special attack, special defense, and speed. That's pretty decent. Let's see, I'm keeping Giga Drain, of course. Magical Leaf is good. I like Leech Seed. Sleep Powder is probably the weakest move just because of that poor accuracy. I'll let Sleep Powder go. There's my Reflect. Matang. Steel Psychic. Don't need Reflect for that. Do need to recover. That's a problem. Let's get a Thunder Wave out. Really? Bullet Punch? Okay, that actually hurts quite a lot. Malane! Good lord. That's fine. I'll just paralyze it again. Thanks to recover at least, Jasmine pretty resilient. Don't do oh boy. You're all about physical attacks, aren't you, buddy? Okay, I'll put, uh, I will paralyze you first, then recover, then reflect. So your problem, buddy, is paralysis doesn't go away. Please stop pursuing Jasmine, though. Alright, looks like malane has got no more full heals tucked away. Thankfully. Let's get a Reflect up. Okay. Uh, recover and switch into Tokoyami. I just want to recover so I don't get surprise pursued when switching Jasmine out. That would be unfortunate. Malane must be wondering what I'm setting up for. For this, buddy! Alright, Tokoyami, get out there and fix this. Didn't pursuit me, huh? <laughs> okay. Uh, get out of my face. Oh, that's gonna hurt. No, it's not. I keep thinking bullet punch is norm- is fighting. It's apparently, I don't know, normal. Hey, try and use Zen- Zen headbutt. Oh, paralyzed. Get wrecked. There goes my reflect, but it's okay. Tokiyami's a big old tank. Oh, this poor Medang, it's trying so hard. Alright, one more out of Tokiyami, providing Molain isn't packing another potion. Nope. Good job, Tokiyami. Okay, that was pretty rough, all things considered. Level 32 for Jasmine. Level 30 for Doofood. Wants to learn Smelling Salts. What's that do again? 
Uh, this attack's power is doubled when used on a target with paralysis. This also cures the target's paralysis, however. It's normal, but Force Palm does paralyze. But I'd rather just keep Force Palming. And I like my other moves better. Oh, you're with Kukui. Looks like he brought along a good trainer. Give me all your money. Alright, guess who's all muddied up? That's the wrong cleaner. Here you go, Jasmine. Pretty sure Jasmine's at five hearts of affection, but you clean off a Pokemon when they ask you to clean them. Okay, that's the rules. Why did you get mud on one of your spoons and only one? What were you doing with this spoon? Anyone else really need my attention? Yep. You're also a bit of a mess, huh? It's because you use Continental Crush. You keep getting dusty whenever you Continental Crush things. Come on, Midnight. You got a Continental Crush cleaner, you know? Alright. That's enough of that. We have to switch Womble out with someone else, and I'm going to bring Flare back. <laughs> that entire fight would have gone a lot smoother if I'd had Flare on hand. Well, well, you certainly seem qualified to take on the trial. Yeah, I think she's even stronger than we were at this point of our challenge. One more thing, cousin. The name's Kukui. Who's this masked royal you're talking about? <laughs> Alright, cousin. I'm heading back to Mali Garden. I figure Hal should be done eating Malasada by now, yeah? I'll make sure he makes it up here too. Hal will never be done eating Malasada. That uh, guy's as interesting as ever, my old buddy. Welcome to our observatory, Jewel. Yeah, I need to go to the Pokemon Center now, thank you. Woof. Honestly, the only loss, real loss in this battle was me forgetting Womble was part fairy, and that is very, very bad for <laughs> fighting steel types. I love the mixed set of Pokeballs you get when you get deeper into the game. Alright. Let's just get that big root off. Shame, Womble is getting roughly close to evolution. 35 is the level I'll use a Sunstone on. Anyway, off to the Traction Box with you, buddy. Traction Box is actually empty at the moment, so that's at least fun. Okay, and I'm replacing you with Flare. Alright, Fireium Zed, Rockium Zed... Grassium Zed. Probably gonna replace Grassium Zed with a Giga Drain on Amy. Boop. And switch. Fireium Zed and Rockium Zed are both worth keeping on the on hand though. Oh yeah, Takayami's dodges are increased because he's holding a bright powder. I forgot about that. It's to make him even harder to kill. And it's working quite well, I should point out. Hokulani Observatory. Take this to commemorate your visit to the observatory and keep a bit of space with you. Obtained a Comet Shard. It's a fragment that fell to Earth when a comet passed by our planet. You can feel the vastness of space. Oh, what a sense of adventure. We use different waves, such as infrared rays and radio waves, to detect celestial bodies. Z we uncover the universe by having our huge computer calculate and calculate until there's nothing left to calculate anymore. Please don't fail us. Now, computer. Modern astronomical telescopes are basically like amazingly good digital cameras, you know? We don't really look through them at space so much as we have them take photos of space so that we can see what's happening up there. That's fun. I'm glad this game is promoting interest in space. Alright, what the heck is going on in here? Beep boop. Door that doesn't open door that will open. Old Mulane and Sophocles are thick as thieves. They're up all day and all night, playing games together and whatever else they do. It's amazing that they still manage to get their work done, but it's not as easy on the rest of us. 
Looks like that's all there is to say about this section. I wonder what Sophocles' trial Pokemon is, I have no idea. Speaking of, sup! I gave you a voice when I first visited the uh, Festival Plaza, but I don't remember what it is. Alright, Sophocles. Uh, you're getting close to your goal. I imagine that you must have come here to attempt the trial, huh? So, uh, do you like Festival Plaza? <sighs> not really. It's not very good. I'm gonna be honest, mate. I'm not a fan of it. Then, I don't know. Fine, whatever. Let's get started. Right now? Right now. Right here. Sorry, Sophocles, but it's not very good. You summon the totem Pokemon and prove your strength to it. That's what every trial boils down to, right? So I thought, why not just call the totem here from the start? So I tried a bit of this and that. I think I've whipped up a little device to call them totem Pokemon. Perhaps you're wondering why I built a machine? Here at the observatory, we also monitor sounds that we detect from outer space. There are some sounds that are inaudible to people, people, but Pokemon can hear just fine. We broadcast the sounds we've gathered terrestrially and monitor the reactions of Pokemon. The machine that summons the totem Pokemon makes use of this technology. Utilizing other sounds we've gathered, we also developed a security system here. But that was actually Big Mo's invention. Just so you know, this will actually be my first time trying it out, so I'm glad you came. I needed a test subject. Ping Totem Pokemon 2.0! Engage! What do you got, Sophocles? What are we throwing down with? Now the Totem should... Shut off the power. <laughs> ah, no way! Did I blow a fuse? Ow! Did the door close? Let's see. We'll need to turn off the security system to get the door open. You'll have to pass an audio quiz. It's fine. I definitely feel a powerful presence. It's coming now. The Totem Pokemon is coming. So let's get this trial going, okay? My trial is about to begin! <laughs> Sophocles, it's pitch black! In order to open the door, please respond to the following audio quiz. What sound do you hear? Pokemon being healed. Grub grub. Whoa, as soon as the door opened, a Pokemon came through! I'm counting you, Jewel! Uh, it's a Grubbin then. Uh, bug electric. Not a great opening target for... Well... Wait, no, it's not electric yet. Is bug effective on ground? I mean, is ground effective on bug? Ground is not very effective on bug. Okay. Then I'll just fake out and switch in a flare. Holy... Um... Can I just... Punch you? I mean, I know it's not very effective, but... Yeah, I can just punch you. Bye, Grubbin. Yeesh. I knew you could do it, Jewel. Oh, and just when I said it, the door closed again. It's gonna be okay. The Tutter Pokemon is on its way. Detected presence of approaching Totem Pokemon. In order to open the door, please. Sophocles, you're really phoning this one in. You hear the sound when you get what? Oh lord. Uh, Rotom Dex, I guess. This is a little. Here's a Charger Bug. Whoa, as soon as the door opened, a Pokemon came through. This one's up to you, too, Jewel. Okay, I think it's pretty obvious what the third one's gonna be. It's gonna be a Vicavolt. Seriously, pitch black screen, nothing fancy. Sophocles just tries to throw the totem. Sophocles, man. First of all, Plaza isn't good, and your trial is kind of the most boring of all of them. You're not selling me here. Fake out a Charger Bug. And Bulldoze. Which is neutral. Does enough. One more Bulldoze will finish the job. <laughs> Vice grip. I mean, that's stung. Doofood's pretty physically tanky and you did 16 damage. That's worthy of respect. Doofood wants to be petted. Hang on a second.
Let me just clean doof it up and you can hear the cleaning sound going on, it's fine. Chat's trying to threaten me, letting me know that Totem Vicavolt will ruin my day. Probably. It's not like I have a great range of team members set up to take down a Vicavolt. And you could do a jewel! Oh, what? Would you look at that? It's all closed again while I was flapping my jewel. Oh. It's gonna be okay. The Totem Pokemon is on its way. Don't go telling me about any totems I haven't fought yet, chat. Totem Pokemon still approaching. Security system has been 50% shut down. Audio quiz. Which Pokemon's cry is this sound? That's a charger bug. We just fought one. Okay, door's about to open. Here's another charger bug. Counting you again, Jewel. Yep. Wish I could switch my team members around. I'd like to start with Flare and just nuke the Vicavolt. Uh, the Vicavolt's typing is probably going to be bug electric. Just like this charger bug. Alright, fake out into two bulldozers. Hang on. I'm not gonna let Duford uh, take so much damage out of this. Who's someone who can really end this? Hey Midnight, get out here and deal with this. Special defense, huh? That is unfortunate. Alright, Midnight will now deal with this. Best Zed pose. Every time I see it, I think of Olivia showing me it, and that's a good thought. Catastropeak is still my favorite Zed move, but this is the most savage of them all. Scissor! Alright. Level 33 for Midnight, very good. I wonder whether a Continental Crush would be better, or a... And you could do a jewel. <laughs> door shots again. Fool me once, shame on the door. Fool me twice, shame on the security system. Fool me thrice, shame on me, I guess. Here it comes! We're picking up traces of the totem Pokemon extremely close by! Is rock super effective against electric, or is it just ground super effective against electric? Because then Continental Crush would be four times powerful, because I think rock's super effective against bug. Final security question! What appears when you hear the following music? It's a totem Pokemon. Huh? This sound, this presence I sense. There it is, the totem Pokemon! This is your time to shine, Jewel! Vicavolt, the totem Pokemon of the Hokulani Observatory, has appeared. Alright, let's throw down. You are challenged by totem Vicavolt! Alright, Duford. Let's start with a fake out. Free damage. Hmm. While I would really love to belly drum, I'm kind of intimidated about cutting my health when I'm not healing. If I had a citrus berry on, I'd be tempted, but without that, I think we're just going to pop a buff item and start bulldozing. What buffs do I have? The X attack. Do I have any dire hits? Yeah, there's one. Sweet! Okay, die hit bulldozers. Ouch. Okay. Doofood. I'm gonna belly drum and pr I mean, I'm going to bulldoze and pray here. Oh, 
Okay, you can take that charger bug here. Yep, you're cool, Dufin. We're switching you out after. Dang! Wow, that was pitiful. Okay. Oh boy. The correct choice is to switch in Jasmine, put up a reflect, switch out, and bring in Midnight and Flare and start attacking with them. I can also paralyze the Vicar Bolt. Okay, Jasmine, you need to do a little bit of tanking here. Even if I reflect, Jasmine's gonna get knocked out here. I think I've got it all the same. I think I have to let Jasmine go here because this Vicar Vault is meant to be terrifying and sacrifices must be made for the greater good. Sorry, Jazz. Alright. Okay, let's try a Fire Fang on the Vic... Why is Fire Fang not super effective on the Vic Vault? Probably just because I don't know it. Okay, if you can burn, that would make my day, buddy. That's an issue. Alright. That's an issue. Yeah, there's a reason I'm not using Flare's Z move, and that's because I'm going to use Midnight's. Alright, Flare, you need to fight through this paralysis. If you can burn this thing, that would really make my day here. Good dodge. Good hit! I like that even Paralyzed... Hello, Fireblade. Thank you for joining my stream. I love that even Paralyzed Flare was faster than that Charger Bug. Okay, game. I know you're thinking about it, but... <laughs> okay. That's alright. The Reflect's gonna wear off soon, and when it re wears off, that's a problem. However! Flare has just decided to destroy this Vicar Vault. Uh, herself. Like, good god, Flare. Where is your mercy? It's gone. Well, this Vic Vault is gone. Man, it's unfortunate that Jasmine got knocked out, but at least Flare just came in and said, Vic Vault, sit down. That being said, I think Vicar Vault's the first totem Pokemon to knock out one of my team members. There's only one way this can end. Do it, Flare. Good god. That went smooth. I mean, Jasmine got knocked out. Unfortunate, yes. But... Flare just said, nope, stop. What's a totem Pokemon? I don't acknowledge that. Okay, I've now pressed the care button. And we're going to be spending some time with Flare. Flare wants to learn Retaliate. I'm pretty sure Totem Wishy Washy didn't knock anyone out. Retaliate. Normal. Uh, user gets revenge for a fainted ally. If an ally fainted in the previous turn, this move's power is increased. Uh, I guess I'll just ditch Otis Luth. I don't like it. Alright, Flare. You know who's a badass? It's you. Okay, first I've got to clean off Duford before we spend some time praising Flare. Duford, you are so dusty. You got so dusted up by that Vicar Vault. Unfortunately, you didn't get to do any damage to it because its special ability was Levitate. 
Which I should have kind of seen coming, but all the same, a little disappointing. Alright, Flare! There you are, buddy. <laughs> oh, who's a big who's the big winner? Who is the big winner? You are the big winner who just came in and said, Vikavolt, what's that? Totem Pokemon, I don't know a thing about that. I am just here to burn things down. Okay, scroll the stupid control. I hate this menu so much. Here. You know what? I love you a lot. You can have a rainbow bean. I have enough of them to spare. Here. Over here. Okay, no. Scroll. Scroll the stupid thing. My god, this is the worst. Does anyone know how to scroll this so it doesn't suck? Hey, have a rainbow bean. Uh, good on you, Flair. You're the best. Okay, high five. Over here. High five. High five. Yeah! Okay. Why are you so cranky? <laughs> and I just got this smirk on my face. That was so good. It's like, mm, yeah. Okay, my lane. Suffy! Big Mo! Nice work, Captain. You helped Jewel here through her trial, and your experiment was a success. Seems that your Ping Totemon Pokemon 2.0 uses too much electricity. If we can get a little assistance from Charger Bug, we should be able to make some improvements. Here, Jewel, I'll give you this Electrium Z to reward you for beating the Totem Pokemon. Thanks. Come to think of it, I can't use Catastro Pika anymore because I evolved my right, uh, Pikachu in an Alolan Raichu. You watching? Yep, show me the pose. Okay, you're making a lightning bolt with your hands. I was fine with the, when the power's off. Jeez, now that you can see me, I feel all nervous. I'm not sure what to say. Thanks? Alright, congratulations. You passed my trial. Congratulations on clearing your trial. And you, Sophocles, you did well as captain. I was really nervous. Don't you worry, I'm sure that I made the right choice in naming you captain. Even if you are my cousin. Oh, I see how this is. Usually it's the island Kahuna who appoints the captains, but there are some, uh, unusual circumstances here on Ula Ula. So somehow I ended up captain. But you are really great, Jewel. I see, then let me reward you. S Ooh, hello there. This is one of the Zed crystals that I collected long ago during my own island challenge to prove my strength and that of my Pokemon. So it seems fitting that it go from me to you. Take it and use it well. And if we're done here, Jewel, could I ask you a to do a favor for me? Professor Kukui forgot this. <laughs> Tamed the professor's mask. Man, I, not even I'm surprised. Only Hal would be surprised by this. He said he would be going back to Malai Garden. Could you take it to him? I think I know what that means. Maybe next time we can battle. Yeah, I'll throw down with you after beating the Kahuna of this island. And next time we can battle. And back to my okay, that's going to wrap this episode up. Thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.